Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Today we're looking at this, which is a motion sensor outdoor light. As you can see, it's obviously solar powered. It comes to us from a company called Van Dang, V-A-N-D-E-N-G, and it's gonna run you $37.99 on Amazon. So they contacted me, said, do you wanna check these out? Uh, they must have picked up the fact that I've reviewed some other solar lights uh, that I have around my house, out in the backyard as well. So yeah, I said, let's check it out. Um, I'm gonna be talking more and more about uh, home security uh, in the future. So I thought this would give me another option for when I pull into the driveway to actually have a little bit more light uh, right when I get home at night. So looking at the light, we've got 300 lumens in this light, 300 lumens in that light. They have a motion sensor in the middle. Obviously your solar panel, you're gonna mount it to you know a wall or uh, probably like the side of my uh, my porch roof is probably where I'll put I'll put mine. Um, you get up to 26 feet of, you know, basically from your sensor out to 26 feet away where it'll pick up that motion. And then you can get up to 240 degrees as far as, you know, this out to one side, this out to the other side. Nice big 240 degrees. So you're picking up, uh, you know, motion and lighting up the driveway or wherever else you might set this up. So I don't want to talk about this a ton here in the studio. just want to give you a quick look and then we're going to actually take it outside and mount it on the uh, porch roof and then we'll uh you know we'll see how it actually works so there's a look at your two different lights you can see the motion sensor in the middle i did leave this out today for a while just to uh, get it charged up it does have a battery inside i believe just one of the um the motion sensor lights and then you've got the button here right here to turn it on and off obviously because i'm in the brightness of the studio i'm not going to get anything today some information there on the back um, so yeah, that's kind of a quick rundown of things. Now let's take it outside and set it up and then we'll see tonight how it works. All right guys, so I want to show you what the lights look like in use now. Um, I'm out on my porch. It's nighttime. Obviously the porch light is on. You're looking at the, uh, the motion sensor lights right in front of me. I'm going to turn my light off. Just reach inside the door here and turn this off and you'll see these come on. So they come on at the higher level and, um, they'll stay on for one minute so one total minute and then they'll drop down to a lower level and those stay on straight through at the lower level um, until the sun comes up and then they'll go off so i'm going to uh pause the video here and then i'll turn it back on so you can see what they look like at the lower level in a minute here all right so the lights have dropped down to their lower level i'm going to step in front of them you can see them go up to the higher level here once they sense my motion you'll see them kick up to the higher level there so that's just a quick look at how they actually function now i'm actually going to put them on the edge of my porch facing out to the driveway and then i'll walk around so you can see what they look like how much light they give to the area okay we're looking back at my house now obviously you can see the windows upstairs and downstairs that kind of have like a yellowish orange light and then the two little white lights down toward the bottom of the screen here are the motion sensor lights they're on and they're just on the dim setting and i'm looking over here now at the driveway and you can't really see it uh, with the camera here, but I can see, I mean, decently. I would, I would not want to walk out here at night if somebody was creeping around with this level of light, but I could definitely see, you know, if I had to walk out and grab something from the car. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, go around the back side of my minivan and walk up to set off the motion sensors so you can see the difference in what you're able to, uh, to pick up and perceive. All right, here we go. All right, so those lights definitely came on brighter. I'm probably within about 15 feet of the lights right now, so I'd have to re-angle these to uh, to get it to pick up the uh, the motion better. But stepping back now, you can obviously see, you know, the entire driveway right now, and here's the corner of our minivan. So I can see out in front of me probably 25, 30 feet, and then I can see to the, my my right and my left, I can see pretty much the entire uh, entire driveway. Okay, I've got the lights all set up where I want them to be. What you're looking at now is the front of my minivan. I'm gonna take the minivan out, drive down the street, come back and pull in the driveway. And I'll pull in both the right and the left side of the driveway so you can see that when I pull in, uh, it's it'll pick up the motion of either car so that the entire driveway uh, driveway will be lit up. Which, you know, for me the goal is at the end of the day, when I'm coming in at night or my wife's coming home at night, um, that the driveway is lit up when someone pulls in. So you've got more light to operate in and see what's around you when you get out of the car. So I'll go hop in the minivan and I'll uh, pull away, let the lights go down to a the more dim level, and then I'll pull in 
once, back away, and then come back again so you can see what that looks like. Hi guys, so you've seen the uh, the lights in use and set up. Obviously the lights are on now and they're giving me good light for this video, which is kind of a rare thing at night to be honest with you, to have good lighting for a, uh, for a video. You can actually see the reflection in my van behind me. But I want to offer you a few thoughts. Uh, first off, your price point, less than 40 bucks for something like this. Um, it's definitely in the competing range, you know, for other lights that I've seen out that have, you know, motion sensors, solar powered, etc. Uh, one thing you have to decide on is do you mind having the light continually on? You know, some people want a motion sensor light that goes on and then totally off and then back on when there's motion. These are very dim, but the lights are still on. So that's something you need to be aware of. Uh, second thing is the best situation I think would be find the place you're gonna mount it, set it up, set a ladder up in the evening time as the, as the night is coming and then adjust it, climb down the ladder, find out where it's pointing, how you want it set up, climb back up, readjust it, and just get it until it's, uh, it's right for you. This is a little bit hard to do because I don't have um, the ladder available for me right now, but I do have it set up where I want it to be and um, It's lighting up the entire driveway I mentioned this earlier But this is a home security thing to think about and not just you know are people hanging out in the bushes and They're gonna jump out and get you but even just getting out at night. We've got Fox. We've got skunk. We have raccoons uh, Around to get out in the middle of the night and you wander upon a skunk raccoon fox Whatever you just want to be aware of that and light will help you deal with that uh, deal with that challenge Beyond that, you know if somebody's kind of creeping around your house at night looking and all of a sudden boom the lights go on That's gonna make them think twice about messing around with your uh, your property or coming up closer to your house I've got links down in the description section if you want to purchase these lights. Thanks as always for checking out our videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram and Tumblr as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.